Hello, my name is Paul, Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. And in this video, I want to show you again the uh, uh, 9 to 1 portable ONUN and the random wire antenna. Maybe in my previous videos, you had seen this uh, little ONUN and I tested this Unun uh, with very good results with uh, only 5 watts with the uh, QRP radio okay but the PT that inside of this Unun is used uh, not the best uh, toroid core the uh, uh, yellow toroid core uh, was uh, previously uh, used in an old uh, PC power supply yes and of course it's not the best for the ham radio bands the attenuation uh, could be uh, higher with this uh, uh, toroid core but the construction uh, of this box is still big for me <laughs> Uh, so that is the reason uh, why I made something smaller. So let me show you guys this new on a 9 to 1 with the uh, same circuit. This is the uh, 9 to 1 portable on very small. It's a uh, made of the uh, 25 millimeter wide PVC tubing with the uh, uh, plastic cups on the on the ends and here we have the screw for the antenna wire and here on the bottom side is the uh, BNC connector to transceiver okay so inside I've used the uh, uh, toroid ferrite toroid core. Usually, the uh, this toroid core is used in uh, uh, receiver in the passband filters. I bought these toroids um, on uh, ham radio meeting, so I'm not sure about the material or the type of the toroids. Okay, so now let me guys show you inside of this box uh, the circuit of the uh, toroid winding is the same as here but in a smaller version. Okay, so let me open the onion. I desoldered these two wires from a uh, BNC connector and here inside is the uh, toroid core itself now I have to unmount this cup and here we have this toroid so the windings is the same as in this uh, previous uh, construction so we have uh, three filler uh, windings here as you can see and I put together two Torrids. and we have one two three four uh, turns of the uh, three filler windings the uh, diameter of the storage is 
is uh, 1.6 centimeters or 16 millimeter is the width or the diameter of the toroids. Here you can see the uh, screw and that's it. It's a very simple construction and now I will put it all together inside this box again and I will test this onion with uh, a 470 ohms resistor and uh, I will test it with the uh, SWR analyzer here in this QRP radio. So for this test I was made this uh, small variable resistor. The uh, maximum resistance is one kilo ohm and we need to set exactly 450 ohms 450 ohms is the output um, impedance of this uh, onon 9 to 1. So 9 times 50 ohms, it makes 450 ohms. So let me uh, set the uh, this tool on 450 ohms. So we can see here the value, it's too high. We have to go down on 450 ohms. Okay, so we are on 450 ohms. And uh, we can start this little test of this 9 to 1 onon. So right now I have to short the uh, antenna connector with the uh, B and C connector on, on ground and the output impedance should be a 450 ohms. If so, the uh, SWR should be one to one or the minimal. So I'm gonna start with the uh, lowest band. It's the uh, 160 meters and start the SWR test. And yes, you can see that the SWR is here on the bottom line and it seems to be a very good SWR on this band. So the internal um, uh, impedance of the uh, anon is exactly 50 ohms on 160 meters. This is the 80 meter band and the SWR is also the same one to one, the minimal. Five megahertz. The same. Seven megahertz. Fourteen megahertz or twenty meters, yes. We see that the SWR here is a little higher. Seventeen, it's okay.
21 megahertz is okay. And on 24 megahertz, the SWR is higher. Ten meters the highest SWR is on ten meters. And now what happened when I uh, disconnect the uh, little tool from the uh, onon during the test. So I choose the 40 meter band and I switch the button SWR and now I disconnect the cable from the tool. Okay, and SWR is about five. When I when I touch the uh, ground. SWR drop down and back on 5. Okay, so that was a little quick test and of course the best testing of the antenna will be somewhere outdoors in the real conditions when I will uh, working a few stations on the bends for the antenna I use this uh, piece of wire in this case it is uh, 22 meters of the wire and I use this clamp and and uh, I use the rope with the hook so this is the hook and the rope with the clamps and to prevent of the uh, big pressure uh, if you hang the antenna on the tree or somewhere I did uh, this modification that you can here mount the uh, rope and here or here you can put the uh, wire and tie this wire to this hook to the ground here will be the pressure and also here will, will be the pressure and from here you can just feed your transceiver okay guys so in my next video I want to show you the uh, real conditions and the real tests in uh, the outdoors and I hope to make few contacts with this antenna Thank you very much guys for watching and 7-3, stay tuned, bye bye.